Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to use the power constant in sum rules. And we're going to differentiate each function with respect to x, and our problems may contain constants such as a, b, and c. So if I was given this function, y equals 4ax to the 3a power minus bx to the 3c power, okay? So, again, let's remember our constants are a, b, and c, okay? So the only variable here is actually the x and then the y. So what I need to do here is I'm going to apply when I derive this the power rule, okay? So let's keep everything um, noted here. Uh, we take the power rule, so we're taking derivative dy dx, okay? Power rule still states the power comes down, so 3 times a times what's left, 4a, whatever those numbers are. These are some constant, 4 times a, right? x to the 3a, where the power is, we subtract 1 from it. Then we subtract here, the other side, well, the power comes down, right? Whatever 3c is, I don't know what that constant is, but it's 3 times c, times b, x to the 3c, the exponent, but we still have to subtract 1 from that exponent, okay? So now I want to simplify this, okay? Well, to simplify it, well, I know I can multiply my numbers out here across, right? So I know I can do my 3, so my dy dx here. 3 times 4 is my 12, okay? And a times a is, I don't know what a is, but I know it's a squared, right? a times a is a squared. So we don't know what a is, but we know a times it's a, whatever that constant is, is the same thing as a squared. We have our x here. Now, 3a minus 1, we don't really know what a is. We don't know, you know, what that number is going to have to be. So we leave the exponent to just be 3a minus 1. Then the right side here, okay? Well, 3 times c times b, let's go alphabetical order. Let's call it 3bc, right? 3bc, x to our exponent now of 3c minus 1. Again, we can't subtract 1 from 3c because we don't know what c is that constant to, to adapt it or change it in any way. And that's it. We actually have our final answer here. It kind of looks pretty complicated, but it's dy dx is equal to 12a squared times x to the 3a minus 1 power minus 3bcx to the 3c minus 1 power. So let's recap. We're given y equals 4ax to the 3a power minus bx to the 3c power. Well, what I'm going to do when I apply my power rule here, okay, for both parts, both terms there, I still bring down the 3a, multiply it by the 4a, and then I have x to the, whatever the exponent was, that 3a, we subtract 1 from it. It's the same thing here. My exponent was 3c, I brought that down up front, and then I kept the what was left, b times x to the power of wherever 3c minus 1 was, where that constant is going to be. So then when I simplify, 3 times 4 was 12, a times a was a squared, and then we don't really know what 3a minus 1 is, so we kept it as the exponent. Same thing here, uh, 3 times c times b is rearranged in alphabetic order, 3bc here, um, but we don't know what b times c is, but it's leave it as bc, and so now we have the x to the 3c minus 1, that doesn't change because I don't know what 3c minus 1 is, it just says so whatever 3c minus 1 is, whatever that value is, is our exponent. So it's not kind of confusing, but kind of uh, simple once you understand it. Uh, there's not much simplification really you can do sometimes. But our final answer here is dy dx is equal to 12a squared x to the 3a minus 1 power minus 3bc x to the 3c minus 1 power.